right, y'all. So the show about to go up in like six minutes. I got caught up in some other shit. I got all my notes. I got everything up until this point. And I'm going to just run through it because, you know, it really ain't a whole lot of shit. So this is Love and Hip Hop New York review. I got a little bit of tea because I already been sipping, but we don't get through it. So you got Yandy. We pick up where we left off. All right, so we got Yandy, uh, Mendici Mama, Judy. Erica and Sam. So, long story. I mean, well, first foremost, uh, Sam. Okay, they kind of get get everybody back together. Everybody calm down. Uh, Sam want to know like, were y'all really married? Yeah, he said something. I've been saying it in other views by other people. You don't owe them shit, and that's what she said. But at the same exact time, when you sitting here, you know, putting the shit out there. Look at this. I'm the wife. But then you know, hey, people gonna have fucking questions. She says that, well, you know, Little Man DC wanted me to plan his birthday party, da 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 Sam said, hell to the motherfucking now. She was like, well, how about we plan it? You know what? That sounds a little bit more better. Respect me, bitch. That's pretty much how that was. We got Peter, Amina. First and foremost, I'm not really finna talk too much about Peter, Amina, and fucking Tara. It ain't happening. I ain't doing it. But they welcome a baby girl. Her name is Bronze. Kudos to them. Remy and Pap. Guess what? She prego. She said it wasn't her time, but it was the Lord's time. And he sat here, knocked over the table, breaking glass and shit, hugs. It is what the fuck it is. He happy. I'm happy. Kudos to them. Yanni and Kim Bella. Kim is uh, in her films because Jewel's work too motherfucking much. He in the studio all the time. Get the studio. It's down the fuck stairs. So he's putting all his time into that. And she's concerned. But you concerned, but he downstairs. So I'm trying to figure out what the issue. And you know, she's sitting here bugging and on some real shit. At this point, it's fucking paranoia. I'm tired of her fucking storyline and everything else in it. Unless you are going to turn the fuck up, I don't give a fuck anymore. On some real shit, he making money. This is one of those where either you're going to let him make money or you're going to get your ass the fuck out there and you're going to you gonna fucking do the motherfucking whole stroke. You're going to bring in, either he bringing the money, you know, I'm not going to fucking do this. I'm not. Because that shit's fucking pissing me off. Like, he's trying to say and provide. He proved he ain't cheating no motherfucking more. And if you just fucking insecure, then let it the fuck go. Is that serious? And she coming at Yandy, and Yandy pretty much telling her, like, look, on some real shit, this aspect is business. And I, I don't, she really didn't say there's that whole confidentiality between me and my client, but if you got an issue, talk to him. I can't talk to you about the whole business side. That's for him. Get me trying to hear it, what the fuck it is. Crease while I get together, long story short, the guys feel that self should get where you know uh, Chris go, and they should talk shit out. We'll see what the fuck happens. Uh, Cardi says she ain't with Tommy no more. He felt they got two different lives. He wrote her full page letter. He didn't sit up with the kids. He said it's over. They're done. Peter and Tyra ain't fucking talking about them. Uh, Swift and Cardi, they meet up. You know, they, uh, make back up as friends and you know what not. You feel what I'm saying? And, you know, she pretty much says she misses their little connection and what not. She invites him to dinner with her family. Now, you got Jewels and Yandy. Now, I'm sorry. Ju Juju and Yanny, my B, I'm jumping ahead. She mentions how Sam had created a page for Mendes went away, tagging her in it. He found it on her phone and figured it out. It was her. Really don't give two fucks. Why I'm just put the fuck out there. They talk about the shit that didn't happen. Who really gives a fuck? But Juju said that she planned a, a trip for Mexico. I don't know who all the fuck going, but she planned a motherfucking thing. Now, Juels and Yanny, he is upset. One, that Kim is pulling uh, Yandy into their respective situation, so he gonna deal with his girl when he get the fuck home. Now, he says, her, I need for you to create a revenue stream, because he did mention that the business, I think he says it's been like seven years, seven, eight years, but the business is so different, which it is, to the point where they're having to calculate streaming and how all that works in terms of money and album sales and whatnot, so it's a totally different fucking game. And she wants a product. He pretty much told her, when you can sit here and show me how you making me money, how, you know, A plus B equals C and one, two and three and all this other shit, then I can sit here and give you a motherfucking product. You know, this, that, and the motherfucking third. Now, Cardi has her little family dinner. Her One of her cousins asked Swift, what are your intentions? Cardi looking like, man, I ain't even sitting on the motherfucker. Like, what, what are we doing? And then Hennessy, the sister, walks up to him just like, you like her, you want her motherfucker, she's singing, you best pounce on that shit right now. Okay, so we, we end on a sad note. Um, dropping pins and shit. Um, so, 
Remy's in the hospital because the uh, baby uh, was growing in her uh, fallopian tubes, which was a no-no. So they had to, of course, remove the baby. And I don't know if it was because the baby was growing there or because uh, they were moving the baby, but she's no longer able to conceive. So if they want a baby, they would have to uh, go through other means, i.e. a surrogate, but she can no longer carry a baby. And that, that, was, that was crazy. I, I really do feel bad for them. But um, that's pretty much it. This was a quickie. I know y'all used to be rambling on. I'm, I'm giving you what I got right now. I do apologize at the same exact time I told y'all I have 24-hour duty in the morning. So I'm going to get this up, and I'm going to pretty much go to fuck to bed because I got 24 long hours ahead of me. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see you guys Wednesday for the uh, Little Women of Atlanta. Peace.